Αγαπητοί φίλοι και φίλε, καλησπέρα. Καλώ ορίσατε στην εκπομπή Υγεία και Δεξία στο Hellenic TV, όπω κάθε Πέμπτη. Σήμερα θα μιλήσουμε για ένα ξεχωριστό θέμα, για ένα πάρα πολύ ευαίσθητο θέμα και πρόκειται για τον ακροτηριασμό γυναικείων γενετικών οργάνων, η FGM, και στα αγγλικά είναι Female Genital Mutilation. Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So, welcome to the show Health and Wellness at Hellenic TV. Today we are going to talk about uh, the film Crash the Wings, which it has a, a story which is uh, presenting a truth uh, about the human uh, experience and has a cultural impact. Uh, with us, we have the producer of the film, Lalit uh, Pushal and uh, the lead actress uh, Osna Sivsi. But before I introduce you to them, we are going to watch a trailer of the film. Look, Ria. Good evening, uh, Lalit, and good evening, Osna. It's really a pleasure to have you with us uh, today. Thank you for um, coming, you know, via uh, the Zoom, of course. And, <laughs> and well done for this amazing uh, film, uh, Lalit. And congratulations, Osna. You nailed the role. Well done. <laughs> Thank you, Vasula, for inviting us to your uh, this lovely program. And uh, yeah, I was very, really looking forward to to uh, meet you through this program. And uh, this is a great platform for us to connect with uh, everybody, uh, especially um, you know the audience from uh, Greece as well. Thank you. It's a pleasure. I mean, um, I have to say that at the end of part uh, two, we are going to have the to hear what the experts has to say uh, about this uh, sensitive uh, topic, you know, issue, and also uh, they will tell us their opinion uh, about the film. Now, I would like to start with you, Lali. Uh, please, can you tell us about 
your inspiration? What inspired you to produce this film? But um, inspiration is uh, the way I choose the topic, the kind of topic I choose um, from my home production whenever I produce mm -hmm. any film. I try to um, select uh, topics which can bring awareness mm -hmm. uh, for our community, uh, for humankind. And yeah, so this is my motto. This is uh, the motto of my company, actually. And uh, the topic was inspired uh, uh, by, you know, through my research, actually, I was uh, trying to find a um, topic under uh, mm -hmm. child abuse. And FGM was keep on popping out during uh, my research. So when I done research about FGM, uh, you know, I had sort of like a negative kind of goosebumps. And uh, I really thought about it. Can I make a film on it? Uh, before that, I did a well research uh, to find out if there was any film or not. I couldn't find any film which is uh, totally dedicated on this uh, sort of subject. There, there is uh, documentaries, short films, and a lot of uh, talk from FGM survivors out there uh, to no films. So yeah, so I, I worked on a story and uh, then uh, took a lot of advice from, uh, uh, you know, uh, re religious scholars and uh, from, uh, you know, health sector as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, once the story was ready, then we gathered a team and yeah, so we made a film on it. Excellent. And uh, what was the uh, central goal of this uh, movie, movie Lalit? Um, as I mentioned that uh, my company motto is uh, always, uh, you know, um, bring sort of like awareness in community. So through mm -hmm. this film, uh, we want to bring awareness. We just want to tell people, look, uh, whatever uh, happening, uh, you know, uh, by FGM, it is happening to, uh, you know, that little girl. Uh, and it's, it's, uh, we are not trying to talk any religion or anybody's, uh, you know, uh, cultural practice, which, which they are practicing from long time back. Uh, we have to see what happening uh, to that little human being. And uh, after that, uh, you know, uh, process, uh, you know, FGM, uh, how this child um, feels, you know, how this child uh, f face the problems like mental problems and physical problems when she grows up. So these are the information we're trying to um, distribute, we can say, uh, through this film actually. And uh, yeah. Yes, I mean, uh, Lalita, this is the reason actually, I mean, that I have invited you to talk about, uh, you know, uh, this, uh, because although it's not happening in the Greek culture, but it's happening everywhere, uh, in, you know, in the cultures that, uh, you know, the people, because we meet people from different cultures, you know, not only here in UK, but in every country. So it's so important to, uh, to have the knowledge. And if it happens to come across a victim of FGM, to know how, to, how we can help and uh, to maybe to understand, uh, to notice the symptoms, you know, of someone that uh, potentially, you know, they are planning to do this for the child or rel relatives or, you know, and, and trying to, to stop it and do something uh, about it. Yeah. But Osna, I don't think that was the easiest role for you. I mean, you nailed this part. Well done. Very, very proud of you. But what was your emotional response to this uh, 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 movie. How, how did you? How did it felt playing this role? I um, I can imagine it was painful. Yeah, I mean, painful on like on so many different levels, right? Because at the end of the day, it was still a film for me. It was still a mm. like it wasn't my real life, mm. you know. So I think on a human term, when you think about it. It, it was not the easiest. It was, you know, it was definitely testing boundaries. It was 
the best experience as an actress that you could ever ask for. You know, I'm very grateful to be able to have the opportunity to not only play such a, you know, such a strong character, but also being given the opportunity to do, you know, stretch yourself and see how far you can take things. Um, and Lalit definitely pushed us to all of our limits. But um, I think, like you said, it wasn't necessarily the nicest headspace to be in. Mm -hmm. Then I got to go back to my real life, do you know? So I think when you put that in perspective, it was really, you know, it was, it was really difficult and you had to find places that you could be there, you know, because I haven't experienced this. So what I had to feel was what I felt for myself, do you know, to try and convey how, how the character felt, you know, how Rhea would feel, how someone in that position would feel. But it would be, you know, you take it from your own experiences and your own emotions. So when you bring those up constantly, it is, you know, it's not, you, you don't want, like, I would end the day and I'd kind of be like, nobody talk to me, please. Do you know, Lalit like, would tell you, I would literally go back um, to like stay in the house. or I'd be like, everybody out, go. Like, I'm done. I'm done talking to people. I'm done looking at people. But at the same time, we also had an incredible cast and crew. So, um mm -hmm. Anytime we weren't filming, they were like making me laugh, like barely laugh throughout the process. So I was lucky that I was able to, like I said, have an escape not only on set, but after in my real life. Do you know? And I think when you take that in perspective and think this, what I'm trying to portray is someone's real life and they never get to get away from it. They never have that escape. They never have somebody, you know, when somebody shouts cut, making them laugh about something. So do you know, I still get to sit in a privileged, privileged position saying, yeah, it was a really different, you know, it was really tough doing this film, but it was, it was definitely rewarding. And at the same time, you know, it, it just gave me an insight to how, you know, lucky we are and how much we can do and how much, like you said, we need to pay attention to what's going on around us so that we can try and help other people. Exactly. Osna, um, did you have to do some preparation, you know? Did you have the opportunity to meet any of the uh, FGM victims before you did the filming? Yes, there was a lot of preparation. There was, um, was it like nearly a year or maybe more? that Like I met Lalit and I was, you know, I was um, signed on to the project. And then before we started even shooting, I think it was more than a year. Um, and in that time, there was a lot of research. I had, I had no idea what FGM was at all. I didn't know it existed. And, um, you know, so I had to, you know, research. I had to find out what FGM is. And then we were very lucky that we had a few, you know, we were able to speak to a few people who, um, you know, we call survivors. They call themselves survivors. And um, one of them, fantastic she's in the film as well and I, I got to have some one-on-one -on -one conversations with people so I could try to understand how they felt you know try to understand how coming out of it not only how they felt during it you know obviously there's a lot of the physical the emotional the pain the actual pain but then how it affected them in the long term because again this was something medically like, I'm not going to try and explain it. I'll let the experts try and explain it, you know, um, in the next part. But this is something that medically affects them every day, do you know? So you have to not only do the acting side, but there was the whole element of how does this affect you as a human being? But, um, yeah. sorry, long story short, I did get to work with a few people. I had to do a lot of research. Um, like, like I said, I didn't know what it was and how, mm. after you learn it, you can't learn it. You, you can't all of a sudden not be aware of this around you. Sure. Did you learn any life lessons? Uh, did you uh, took something with you that, you know, living your life now, it's perhaps at the back of your mind and you are thinking, I don't know, maybe appreciate your life now more, more than you did before. Absolutely, absolutely. The like it really humbles you as mm -hmm. as a story goes, as far as you know, I know it's not based on one particular real life story, but it's based on real life experiences. And the more women that I got I spoke to who opened up to me and told me about their experiences, and you just get to sit here in your privileged 
chair and listen to them and say, like, you can only empathize with them and, you know, and say this shouldn't have happened. But then again, like I said, you go back, you come back home and it didn't happen to you and you're still safe and all of your bodily parts are still intact and you're not having any of these, you know, um, emotional side effects or anything else that comes with maybe, you know, um, undergoing FGM or anything. So it definitely makes you sit down and really, really think about not only yourself, but also other people, because it makes you realize there is so much going on with people that you have no idea Mm. about. Do you know, this is, this is just, just touching the surface of certain child abuse issues or certain cultural issues that, you know, growing up in London or growing up in a multi-diverse community, it's all around us. Exactly. Exactly. And actually, that was one of the things that I like, uh, Lalit, uh, the way you produce it. Or, I mean, you show that it's happening in, in Nepal, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Now, where did you do the film? Okay. Um, the thing is, uh, Nepal is a location which is uh-huh. uh, just uh, to, I mean, it's sort of like uh, Nepal is like a studio for us. Okay. It, grew up, it, it provides us, uh, you know, that kind of location and those kind of actors which we were looking for uh, for a uh-huh. story. So it is not uh, confirmed that it happens in Nepal. Okay. So, so this is an open story. Yes. And it is open story. It okay. can relate to anybody. It can relate to people in from India. It can relate to people from Indonesia or mm-hmm. Sri Lanka. Uh, any part of the world. Sure. So, yeah, just let me yes. just... Yeah, yeah, thank you for clarifying this, uh, yeah. Lalit. But yes, it was good that you also connected with UK. Like, you can find that you can find victims here, that even the doctors, GPs, you know, they need to have this knowledge, uh, uh, like midwives, you know, uh, and they need to be able to understand the victims of FGM and see the signs, you know. So it was really good, very smart that, yes, you showed, I mean, as you said, uh, areas or cultures that this can happen, but you brought it here as well. The way, you know, uh, you wrote the script, etc. you know, so it was brilliant and well done. And Osna, do you have a, a message that you would like to to tell uh, the people in general, uh, audience, you know, uh, about this experience or, or about FGM, you know, that you've learned uh, a bit more. Um, I think the first, like, first of all, thank you to you, Vasula, for like, uh, you know, having us on this show. And thank you to the audience, anyone who is watching this or who might take it upon themselves to watch our film. Um, do you know, it's a, it's a no budget film. It's, you know, it humbles us that anybody wants to know about it or he- watch it or hear about it. So thank you, you know, genuinely thank you for taking your time out of your day. Um, and I think it's important that people realize that this isn't going to be a happy film uh, necessarily. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be, you know, it might not be your Friday night excitement that you want to, you know, that you want to watch, but film and creativity and in the arts, we can use it to educate each other. It doesn't have to be necessarily an educational film, but we can use it to learn. And I I, I hope that a lot of your, you know, listeners, if they can understand us in English, you know, it means that they hopefully, you know, if they're in England or any, any other country and they have friends who aren't from the same cultural backgrounds, just like you said, just, just ask somebody how they are. You know, mm-hmm. it's not just about the FGM, it's about everything. We tackle quite a few issues in the film and it's about just giving somebody that time mm-hmm. to be able to talk to you. You never know who needs you. You never know what they need and what their private life brings them. So I think if we can learn anything and take away anything from this film and what I take away from this experience is somebody could be having a bad day, but you need to find out why they're having a bad day. 
you know, exactly. is it just that they got bad news or is it genuinely that they're, they're in some trouble and they need some help? So I know FGM is the main topic and hopefully by raising awareness with this film and through word of mouth and through, you know, platforms like yourselves, people can mm. know about it, find out about it. Then maybe as a human race, we can do something to hopefully stop it, you know, in the long term. Um, I know that's really far fetched and I can't, Im- you know, but we'll do, we'll, we, we're mm-hmm. making our little impact, but it's beyond just the FGM. It's, it's everything. It's everything. Just- yes. That's you know, true. I mean, uh, of course, uh, my favorite, you know, role was Ria's, you know, that was amazing. And also the, the little girl you chose, Lalit, I mean, it looked like uh, Ria, like Osna, you know, and I thought, how did you do this? It's amazing, you know. And then I really like the teacher. Because apart from uh, the, uh, you know, uh, there is a message there at the same time about helping, you know, and she came across as so caring. And as you said, Osna, you know, it's not only about FGM, but it's about helping and looking for the signs, you know, um, from someone who, who is in need for help. And the teacher was really, really amazing. You know, I really loved it. And I have to say, before I um, got to Lalit again, that at the beginning, I thought, I'm going to pause it. I can't watch it because it was too emotional. I, I, I couldn't stop crying, uh, you know. And then I felt anger. You know, it was a combination of this... Uh, a mixture of feelings, you know, yes, the anger, why is this happening? And then her husband, you know, I got really annoyed with him. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, uh, but yes, the, the teacher was amazing. And, and she really, I mean, um, the actress played the role really well. Even her looks, you know, matched with... Uh, her all, you know, so amazing. Good, good job. <laughs> right, Lalit, what is uh, the plans for the d- distribution of the film? Um, we have a lot of plans, actually. Uh, we would like to, um, you know, show this film to mass audience as much as people should watch this film. For for that reason, uh, I am in talk with um, a few uh, agents in the middle and uh, I'm trying my best. We are not funded, uh, we are not a commercial mm-hmm. film actually, so um, um, so we have to f- go through a lot of different process and uh, this is what I'm doing. So yeah, we will get there and uh, hopefully this, this year this film will come out and uh, everybody will know if they will follow us uh, on the Facebook page. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a facebook.com um, slash crushed wings and there is a dedicated website as well which called crushedwings.org. So uh, all the information about distribution and what TV channel is going to come out people will come to know about that. And if anybody want to watch it on a film festival, uh, there are a few f- film festivals they are showing this film in different many countries. So uh, uh, in the USA, uh, it's going to be shown on 11, uh, September 11. And uh, in the past, uh, uh, it was shown in Paris, mm-hmm. uh, India, and even in the UK, Kant, you know. So now uh, it's going to be shown in uh, Nigeria as well. So, yeah, uh, please uh, check those uh, information mm-hmm. on our uh, social media links. Social media. So we can see all these informations, uh, the updates on, is it on your social media or is it a page, Crushed it's, Wings? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a page, Crushed Wings. So okay. Very, it's simple. Just even you, you can uh, type in on the Google. Whenever mm-hmm. you type in a Google, there is two things you will see: crushed wings, Excellent. which is a film, and the mm-hmm. crushed wings from the menu, like what people eat, the chicken wings. So don't go to that menu. Please look at the film, crushed wings. So that's what I will say, and they will find us easily. Yeah. Thank you. And what is your message, uh, Lalit, after 
coming closer to such a, you know, a very sensitive, you know, topic. Uh, any message for us? Um, I just want to say thank you so much, Osula, to uh, let us connect uh, with uh, people who follow your program from Greece. Thank you so much. And um, uh, I, I request mostly men, mm. uh, all the, uh, you know, macho men, uh, come forward and join this campaign. If you guys, I mean, as a man, if you say no to FGM, mm. trust me, we can we can get rid of FGM as soon as possible. You know, uh, so far what I have seen, uh, mostly women, they are running the campaign. Women, they are going forward and 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 you know talking about uh, these kind of issues, and they are looking for help. So I think um, uh, if men they come mm -hmm. forward things can be easier as well. It will be helpful for them to, you mm -hmm. know, it will be uh, joined to this voice. That's all I can say. And uh, secondly, please, uh, the people who may think like, okay, yeah, this film, uh, I mean, FGM, uh, maybe, uh, you know, like, um, um, give them some sort of like uh, wrong ideas. Mm. Don't don't take any uh, wrong message now just watch the film uh, before sure. anything else yeah watch the film and and, and see uh, the, uh, you know what we're trying to say we are mm -hmm. not trying to target any community we're not target uh, targeting any religion through the film we are just trying to tell the story about seven years old little girl who go through this process and her feelings and what happens to her when she grows up you know so these are the things that i want to say that's all Thank you. And I'm sure, Osman, now, uh, are you looking to do another drama or? <laughs> no, comedy from now on. Only comedy, strictly. <laughs> you need something more uplifting, yeah, but well done. Honestly, you know, for playing this role, I'm sure uh, it wasn't easy, but you nailed it. Well done. And... Uh, I wish you uh, to both of you for every success, uh, you know, uh, for this uh, film. And as I said, in part two, we are going to see what the experts think, you know, uh, about the film and what do they have to say about FGM. Thank you so much, both of you, for you joining my show and sharing and uh, you know your thoughts and uh, your emotions and and uh, letting us know about crash swings thank you so much thank you Αγαπητοί φίλοι και φίλες, σας ευχόμαστε εδώ καλό βράδυ. Θα ανανεώσουμε το ραντεβού μας την ερχόμενη Πέμπτη και όπως έχω αναφέρει στο επόμενο στο μέρος Β θα, θα μας μιλήσουν οι experts, οι επαγγελματίες για το FGM. Καλό σας βράδυ.